What's good, y'all? We back for another reaction. Today we got Jack Harlow Gang 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 official music video just dropped. Y'all already know Jack Harlow is on a tear. So you know we gotta react to this. I'm so happy with his glow up, the way he's improved his rapping, the way he's been uh, uh, choosing better beats. He's finding his niche and I love it. You love to see it. So let's get into this before I get to the video. Help me get to 20K. We're only 200 away. 20K subscribers. with I could have never dreamed of this moment, but it's gonna happen before the end of this month, I hope. But it's up to y'all, right? Like the video so that it could get recommended to Jack Harlow one day. And let's get to this video, man. Enough talking. Gang, gang, gang. Ride for my dogs, live for my dogs, die for my dogs. Ride for my dogs, live for my dogs, die for my dogs. Because it's. I just want to point out that if you go, there's a video circling social media. If you go and look at it, it's about Jack Carlo um, and all the years he's been rapping. And it goes through every year that since he started rapping, he has improved drastically. And it, like you can notice it when you listen to his music. Every song he drops or every project he drops, it seems like he's just getting better and better. And that's so amazing to see. Home for the holidays. My friend pulled me to the side like, did you hear about Marcus? Our Marcus? Yeah, our Marcus. A bunch of girls say he raped him in the back of some Target. Damn. They say he drove him back there in his car, and then he parked it, and the rest is even darker. Wait, which Marcus? Because it can't be yes, our Marcus. The same Marcus we collected Pokemon cards with. The one with perfect grades that has family in New Orleans. Yes, that Marcus. He's got seven rape charges. Damn. Ride for my dogs, live for my dogs, die for my dogs. Ride for my dogs, live for my dogs, die for my dogs. What would you what would y'all do in that situation? Because it's Because it's Home for the holidays. My friend pulled me to the side like, did you hear about Kevin? Or Kevin who? Our Kevin. What happened? He got arrested. They found a bunch of messages he sent to little kids. And apparently he ended up with this 10-year-old and now the kid's saying he got molested. Molested by who? By Kevin. Nah, it's gotta be a different Kevin. Look, I'm telling you it's Kevin that we've known since we were seven. The one whose dad's a reverend. The same Kevin we spend every weekend with and call brethren. Ride for my dogs, live for my dogs, die for my dogs. Ride for my dogs, live for my dogs, die for my dogs. Because it's I like his storytelling on this so far and the the feeling the song is given. Like it's given like you feel what he's feeling. While he's rapping, you could feel what he's feeling. Like if if one of your friends got got um sent to jail with some of these charges the way you would take it like you could feel what he feels at the moment and um i want to see if he wraps it up at the end and it all comes like together so let's see because it's truthfully it's family till it can't be gang till it ain't twins but it depends brothers until something is uncovered dogs until the lifting of the fog i always got you turns into well i never thought you years Damn. of camaraderie suddenly disappear almost like you never were here unconditional love becomes very conditioned when push comes to shove and all that talk of taking bullets suddenly feels foolish pictures with them turn to ad campaigns you gotta pull it feet held to the fire we hold accountable the ones we hold dear out of morals but mainly fear the choice becomes clear and years of camaraderie suddenly disappear almost like you never were here damn so, so like i said he wrapped it up at the end right here uh let me go back to the beginning of this uh verse um right here doesn't tell something is uncovered only till it can't be gang till it ain't twins but it depends brothers until something is uncovered dogs until the lifting of the fog so he said Brothers until something is uncovered. Um, dogs until the lifting of the fog. So in this last verse, I like how he wrapped it up. And in the beginning, when they were saying like this person did this, this person did this, 
it was like, who, that guy? That was my brother from school. Like, I knew him since I was a kid. It, it can't be, bro. Like, you're in disbelief at first. But the way he just wrapped it up at the end, he's saying, like, no matter how close you are to somebody, no matter what you guys been through through life, if if they do something that's, like, morally wrong or something that's extreme, it's all, like, you have to cut them off. Basically, people cut them off. Uh, like, his brothers did the thing. Did this? Well, we would we we survived through thick and thin. But now he did this. I, I can't be allowed. I can't be connected to this, bro. I don't want to be connected to this. So usually people are 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 together. They usually dogs, family. They call each other twin. Like yo, what's good, twin? Until something comes up, and then you're forced to separate. And then eventually, it's like you forget about that completely. And it's like it never even happened before. Like the connection never even happened before. And that's something that many people go through in life. And it sucks because one person's actions can really destroy a lifelong uh, relationship. And it's up to everybody to make sure that they, you know, they don't do no dumb shit in this world because you could get caught up. And then people that you think would be there to, to help you, to, that you count on, they're going to turn their back on you because they, they, they don't want to be connected to your dumb decision. All right. So this is a really deep song. I like how he wrapped it up at the end. I like how he's showing different uh, different skills when rapping now on his albums. He's not just doing one single flow or one type of song. He's doing many different things, storytelling. He's actually trying to rap now. So Jack Harlow, I, I applaud you, man. You you went crazy on this. It, it was a crazy story. It was a roller coaster ride of emotions. And, and we could feel what you feel in this song because everyone has lost somebody in this world. Not literally lost somebody um i mean but like lost somebody's relationship due to them doing something dumb and then it's like you know i can't really fuck with you no more man i i, I don't support what you're doing i don't want to be connected to you anymore so it's really relatable what he's talking about man and that carlos really found his way in the rap game and i just i just hope he keeps working on his craft and he keeps improving because every project he's he drops seems to be getting better and better and better man and, and he really has what it takes to, to make a, a lifelong impact on this game so keep going jack hollow love y'all so much let me know what y'all thought below we out of here don't forget to like subscribe comment let's go